Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bloodborne. In today's episode we are going to be fighting Father Gascoigne. Uh, let me just put on the special item that we need. This one. And we have the Kirk Hammer. So we absolutely demolish these pieces of shit now. Hello. Bam. Uh oh. <laughs> Thanks. Nope. Another graze. There we go. It is so hard to interrupt that attack once I've started the swing. Like, when I'm reeling back, I'm vulnerable as hell. But once I've started the swing, I have yet to see something actually stop it. <laughs> At least in early game, anyway. Okay. Do 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 do. Here we go. Hello, friends. How are you doing, friends? I don't think I will. Why is the fireball not going? There it is. Love this weapon. Hello. Ba boom. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I hate attacks like that, but don't deal a lot of damage, but are very quick, so you can't. They're very quick and they do like repetitive attacks, like bash attacks or like the crow's pecking attacks. Because then you can't get your frickin' health back. Wham! Uh oh. Ah. Damn it! Why do I keep doing that? I forget that has a follow-up attack to it. Oh dear. Alright. Just stun lock. Stun lock. Stun lock. Okay. Don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. But anyway, we're just gonna move on and forget it happened. Okay? Okay. Sounds like a deal. And I'm going into this with three less blood vials than I'd like to. But whatever, what level are we at? 19. I... Fuck, I don't think I've ever done this at this low level. Oh shit, I'm gonna get into my serious position. Hang on. I don't think I've ever fought in this guy before level 30. <laughs> oh, that was, uh... That was a clean cut. Oh, apparently not. Did he tear it in half or rip its head off? I couldn't tell. all over the shop. Shop. You'll be one of them. Sooner or later. <laughs> We're in a church. Those are fangs. You are no longer human. Okay. Hi. Come on. Ow. I forget he can hit me through that too. Nope. Love the stun lock. Oh, what's that smell? 
sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me it's enough to make a man sick. <laughs> <laughs> Probably get a better hit on him through here with this. Uh oh. There we go. And that is the benefit of having two weapons equipped. Ow. Oh crap, I forgot that does a blast. Okay. So now he is full beast mode. No! Okay. <laughs> run away, run away. Oh, 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 oh. He is much too fast. And now he smashes the stones, play the music box. Go, 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 go. Okay. I think we can get one more music box off, uh, as long as we can get away. Ow, 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 ow. Just, just run away. Just run away, run away. Heal. Ah! Oh. Yes, yes, okay. Woo, man. Way easier with the Kirk Hammer than the saw blade. With the saw blade, I couldn't stun lock him like that, so it was much, much harder. Okay. Woo, man. Calm down, heart rate, calm down. <clears throat> uh, nothing else done here. Okay. Let's go up here. Move an item over here. This is a lot of blood. Oh, there's a corpse. A red jeweled brooch. Oh, fuck. Okay, so for those of you who can't put two and two together. Um, I'm sorry, that was mean. What the fuck? <laughs> Where did that come from? Anyway, for the, for those of you who didn't understand what just happened, <laughs> why did I say it like that? Um, <clears throat> what happened was uh, that music box we played stunned him because it's what his wife and kid played whenever he would start losing his mind in the previous hunts. Um... But this time, his wife, the mother, uh, forgot it, and the dude killed her. And then we killed him. So we've officially made an orphan. Congratulations, everybody. <clears throat> uh, where is my water? <sighs> There we go. Stupid sugar ants. <clears throat> the Bergenworth spider hides all manners of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Who does it now? We have this thing. What are you? Blood gem workshop tool. Oh, that lets us put uh, things in it. Okay. Oh. 
By the way, when I said that lets us put things in it, I realized that meant nothing to anyone who doesn't understand. It, oh, hello. It basically means that uh, we can put blood gem upgrades into our weapons. And they're like uh, health boosts, damage boosts, uh, stamina boosts, all kinds of things, really. Uh, mostly damage boosts, though. Uh, you are a creepy old hag. Let's talk to the old hag. Oh, you must be a hunter. Hunter? Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. Okay. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going by it. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, I tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Erden Chapel. They'll be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell him to come on over, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Alright, so this is our first safe place, so we can send travelers uh, to here. Um, so, let's go back to the little girl. Is this the fastest way? Yes, I think so. Uh, this way. Oh no, I missed a step. That would be a hilarious- Oh my god, that would be a hilarious game mechanic. If there was just a random chance to miss a step, and the faster you went, the more the chance increased. Until you just fucking fell down the stairs. Oh my god. That would be amazing. I would love a game like that. <laughs> Especially with ragdoll physics like this. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. Oh, I want it so bad now. Oop, all the way down. Thank you. Hello, halflings. Up this way. Yep, 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 yep. Oof, excuse me. This way. What you laughing at, bub? Thank you. Okay. So we should have two options when we come here. Hello, Miss Hunter. Do you come find my mom? So we can give her the red jeweled brooch, or do not yes. give. Okay. I can wait. Mom knows I'm really brave. And you're very kind. I won't be afraid. I'll be a good girl. I promise. So, what we're about to do is going to be uh, extremely harsh. But it's Bloodborne, we'll get over it. Anyway, we are going to smash this. There we go. So that gives us an item for us to use. So we can no longer give her the Red Jeweled Brooch. If you were to give her the Red Jeweled Brooch... She would realize that her mother is dead, we killed her father, she hates us, she continues to cry and sob in her room until she dies. And at some point we talked to her big sister, but the little girl ran away or some shit. Anyway, the big sister says that this little sister is gone, and we never see the little sister again, and after a short time we never see the big sister again either. Hello, Miss Hunter. Yes? 
Mom knows I'm, I won't be afraid. So now we have an item for us. And uh, do, 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 do. once we come reload, maybe? I think we have to reload. Um, so I have to go to Hunter's Dream. But once, this is one spot. Once we go to Hunter's Dream and come back here, which I probably should have done first, but whatever, I didn't realize I need to reload. We'll move on, we'll get over it. Uh, once we come back here, we can tell her to go to the safe place. But before we go to Hunter's Dream, let's just run past all these idiots. Hello, goodbye. You're not chasing me? Good. Our bird, I have. Shutting up indoors isn't always it. Well, if you once have got off your asses, it wouldn't be in this mess. You're obligated to help me, you hear? So what the best? Are you going to tell me you're not? Well, what do you know? An outsider worth a lick of salt. Well, don't just stand there. Don't you have work to do? Go split some throats. Get this mess done with. Okay. So we have told her of Odin Chapel. So, since we were able to tell her of Odin Chapel, that probably means we have to wait until we fight the first boss <clears throat> in the Cathedral Ward. And then we can tell the little girl about Odin Chapel. I think. Don't quote me on that. I just know that at some point before a certain point, which I'm not certain what the point is, uh, we have to tell the little girl, otherwise we'll lose our opportunity to. I, th I think we'll be fine as long as we tell her before we defeat Rom. <laughs> and now we can talk to this guy. An aqueduct leads from the tar not a place you'd know. Okay, we have to reload for him, apparently. Jesus. Let me see if if reloading changes his dialogue. Because if it changes his, then it might change the little girl's. So we'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and level up. Hello, I honor and I be twimble. Yes, yes. Very well. Uh, health? Yeah, health. There we go. Farewell. Thank you. Uh, get rid of the music box. We no longer need that. Put on pebbles and bold hunter's marks. Hello, Gammon. Don't have enough. Okay. We do, however, have enough for this, which ups our physical attack and boosts our rally potential. Um, I think our rally potential is how much health we can get back from each attack, or like how long until it can no longer be recovered. Something like that. It's useful. <laughs> That's all I remember. It's useful for health regen. Um, Central Yarnum. Yosofska's Blood Vial. This refined blood, highly invigorating, restores a larger amount of HP. Oh yeah, we can get that too. Totally forgot about that. Where's my phone? Okay. Ah, oh, you needn't concern yourself with me. Yeah, okay. I'm afraid I'm of little help now. But before I take this, 
I make no use of it, but perhaps you. <coughs> what afflicted me was incurable, but this time gave me hope. Their strange blood bought me time. I was most fortunate, unharmed by the plague of beasts. I can even die human. Yeah, about that. Um, you know what? We'll let him have his. Uh, we'll let him have his hope. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> moving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the fastest way to the little girl? No, it is not. There's a faster way. What on earth is that roaring? Anywho, let's go down here. You know what I just realized? I think there's an item. Hi. In with that giant ogre like guy. And I totally missed it when I killed him earlier. So let's go get that. Thank you. There's supposed to be an item somewhere around here. No. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Whatever, we got some extra souls. Uh, for shits and giggles, let's see if the glitch still works. Or if I can do it easily. Nope. Uh, there. Let's try it one more time. Nope. Okay. I don't even remember how to fully do it. But there's a glitch where you can jump up on this coffin or wall or something. And uh, you can get up over the fence and into that area, and that lets you actually skip, like, three bosses. So, that's always fun. Um, guess this way. So we're gonna go back. It, it leads you to this area here, which we can't get from this side without that glitch. Um, Otherwise, you just have to progress through the name game normally and uh, open the gate from the other side. But if we go in here, I wonder if putting it in a light form lets me run any faster. Oh well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume. Then. If you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. Alright, so that's another safe if place we can send people to. If you find anyone who you can assure them, please. If you find you, please. Oh, okay, I guess we can't get her blood vials yet. <clears throat> but yeah, we can send people to her clinic. However, you don't want to do that. You want to send everybody you meet to the church, except for one guy. Oh, did I really never get this item? Wow, okay. Except for one guy who we will meet a bit later in the game. Not for a few episodes. Uh, nope, we want to go this way. This way, this way, this way. Regain stamina so I can just run past these guys. 
You could kill these guys all over again, but you know, they're just souls. So if you don't eat them, don't bother. That's how I see it. Although usually I kill everyone I come across when I'm in my regular playthroughs, but I don't want to stall things along for you guys. Any grinding I need to do, I'll just do it off camera. Hello, Miss. Oh, okay. But maybe Mom and Dad are stuck out there. Here we go. Waiting for me to come and find them. What do you think, Miss Hunter? Tell of Odin's okay. chapel. Thank you, Miss Hunter. I love you almost as much as Mom and Dad and Granddad. Well, we did try to help. Um, this story will not have a happy ending. So let's go ahead and use one of these. So this will let us reawaken at our lamp post without losing our souls. So this is just a faster way of traveling back. Also reloads it for us. So now we go over here. Hello. Goodbye. Hello, big dummies. Goodbye, big dummies. Lever. Don't come in here. Okay. Down hall. By the way, when I say reloads, I mean it resets the game state. Um, so it updates all the positions of everything. Right in the booty hole. Thank you, Piggy. Now he drops this item because he ate something. Blood vials and a red messenger ribbon. And if we look over here, we see a corpse. Although, I'm not sure why it's a male corpse. Maybe this was here all along. Maybe it's this corpse? No? Did they really remove that from the game? Huh. There used to be like a pile of blood and rags over here. But anyway, the bloody messenger ribbon is what we got because the little girl tried to go through the sewer lines to get to Odin Chapel like we did to avoid the monsters on top of the bridge. And the pig ate her. So, uh, yeah. That happened. And I believe that is the first and last encounter we will have with the child. I think maybe we can go back at some point and talk to the sister, but... Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me. Okay. Hunter's Dream. And level up again. Welcome. What is it you... What is it you Very desire? Me. Uh, strength. That way we can kill the... Ogres in Farewell, one good hit. One big swing, I mean. The moon is close. 
It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. So what he's saying is we can find these chalices and they will open up these dungeons here for us with these altars <clears throat> and they're like extra challenges for you to face but if you do them throughout the game they'll help you level up uh, so you can do that instead of going to farm somewhere uh, anything we can buy from the shop Nothing really useful. Okay. What about you guys? Oh, we have guest coin stuff now. Uh, no. <clears throat> Just seeing it. Where's that, the thingy? It's supposed to show us. A comparison, why is there no comparison? I can't buy this until I know what to compare it to. All right, well, whatever, we'll just leave it. I'll compare it off screen later. <laughs> um, what time is it? 3.30. Okay. So, yeah. I think this is a good place to end it. Uh, this episode was just Father Gascoigne and some quest backtracking. Uh, that seems like a good place to leave it. And then we'll uh, explore Cathedral Ward in the next episode. Okay, great. We have a plan. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, so much for enjoying today's episode of Bloodborne. If you did like the video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more content just like this and be notified when I go live and when my videos go up, just be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell button. Oh, yeah. Notified. And without further ado, I hope you all have a great day and enjoy life. Bye-bye.